Now, today is National Go Fishing Day. So every Friday, we're gonna give you tips and tricks uh, to up your fishing game, of course. And as you already know, I may not be the biggest fishing genius. I don't have a lot of experience. But then of course, Jocelyn is our angler on the show. She knows a lot. And we decided it would be fun to have her test me on some fish that are native to the coastal bend. And we're just gonna see if I can guess what their names are. So um, I, I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be, Jocelyn. <laughs> Well, Clarissa, as you know, my boyfriend and I fish just about every weekend. I mean, we love it, we breathe it, and we are very passionate about it. So we're going to use some photos of fish that we've caught right here in our coastal bend waters, whether it be inshore or offshore. So what do you think about this first fish? What kind of fish do you think it is? I think I might be better at this than we imagined. No, I, I'm very, I have so much faith in confidence in you that you're gonna do outstanding. I already I'm gonna even throw in a fancy word. Is that a speckled trout? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously, whether you're an angler or not, speckled trout is, or they are, one of the most popular fish right here in our coastal bend waters. Um, that you can catch them left and right. You can catch them with artificial lures, live bait, and primarily live croaker, which I believe I caught that one with. So. In case right. you go fishing this weekend, you're gonna to want to use that live coaster for the trap. Cool. All right, one for one. Great. All right, let's see what you got next. All right, this next one featuring my boyfriend and that big old fish he has. What do you think that is? I feel like it's either a drum or a grouper. Okay, which one? Is one of those right? <laughs> um I'm gonna say it's a grouper. You were right the first time. So oh it's, man, it was a drum. drum. So <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna. You were right. I'm just gonna say you were right about this one. Oh, so it's close. It's close. In this case, it is a black drum, but it's considered a big, ugly black drum. And That's you know, this, right. this, this smaller black drum, absolutely delicious. Probably one of my best or my favorite fish to eat. Um, and you can catch them by using dead shrimp. And with these, however, we use we usually use crab, um, especially whenever I go with my uh, dad to Louisiana, we use crab up there as well to catch this big drum. Um, the larger the big uglies, you definitely don't want to eat them. Um, you want to keep them in the water because they have a lot of worms, but they're still Ew. really good to catch. <laughs> okay. Ew, worms, gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. next one. All right, looking babelicious in your swimsuit, first of all. Hey, girl. Um, also, these couple colors complement each other. I believe that is a red snapper. You're absolutely right. I told you you were going to do great, Miss Clarissa. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> yes, I already knew. I knew. So, you know, we've mentioned it on the show before, even on social media, it's snapper season. And, you know, the bait we typically use um, is squid. You have to go offshore to catch these beauties. You have to go to our beautiful uh, Gulf of Mexico. So um, I've been fishing offshore quite, not very often as I would like, but I've been a couple of times this summer. And uh, like I said, use squid for bait, you're good to go. And it's also an amazing fish to eat. So delicious. All, All right. right, next one up. Okay. Um... This, okay, you're, you've got a kayak next to you. I'm imagining you use the kayak to fish, maybe. So that was in our water, which wouldn't make it a tuna. It kind of looks like a tuna. But honestly, the only other fish name I think I know is grouper. So is it a grouper? <laughs> I'm out of, I'm out no. of words. No, but it's, this one is actually, it's a jackfish. And this one was, oh my gosh, it put up such a crazy fight. Lots of fun to catch. Um, we actually caught this one um, off of Pins, Padre Island National Seashore, and we uh -huh. use cut bait when we use this one. We usually um, use mullet or cut, cut up some mullet to catch it, and to be more descriptive, of course. Um, in this particular species, I'm going to just kind of give you a hint here in case you ever see a jackfish again. It has a broad head, obviously got a big old head, and shades of yellow scales on its back, fins, and tail. So next time you see one of these, just remember uh, these these types of colors and uh, exactly what it would look like. Okay, this okay. one uh, has that dot. I know what that means. Was there, we had an ugly drum, but not a regular drum. I'm just saying drum again. <laughs> I don't know. Blue, 
wait, a butt. The word. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right. Am I? Yes. Cool. You're right because, in a sense, but it's this is a redfish. So. It's um, not red. Yes, it's a redfish. It's my absolute favorite fish to catch. I've I've mentioned it before. Um, it has a unique spot on its tail, so that's how you'll remember what kind of fish it is. Well, that was a really fun game. I hope you guys can replay this later and try it at home with the family. Hopefully, you get more right than I did. Um, all right.